not. hold greedy CEOs That's like yourself not, accountable. You call me a greedy CEO. Oh, yeah, you are. Right. You want to attack my salary, I'll attack you. Here. And uh, these charges, these changes are now law here in D.C., correct? Do you mean the revised criminal code? Yes. Uh, no, those are not the law. Those are not the law. Did with you, the, you the revised, revised you, you criminal code them. was uh, rejected by. Excuse me, Mr. Chairman. I'll talk to Mr. Allen. It says it can have any person can have eight plants at home. Now I've seen some of the videos of DEA raids. Some of these plants are eight and ten feet tall. You can have eight of them. You can have a privacy fence made of these products in your backyard. Two ounces, just two ounces is equivalent to three joints. And you can possess up to, what is it, a one and a half pounds? One and a half pounds you can, you can hold. I love uh, boomers doing political speeches. Uh, so I, I love it when they talk about the internet, a series of tubes no one can understand, okay? And when they talk about weed, he's like, imagine a fortress of weed. I'm like, that sounds really good. <laughs> and so I don't know all the ounce stuff, uh, but people had a. Like, <laughs> I don't know all the ounce stuff. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Speaking about boomers, right? Okay, but did you notice that when he said uh, the two ounces equals three joints, there was uh -huh. like a murmur in the in the uh, in legislature. I don't know. That's, that's what I heard. I'm not positive, but I think that a lot of people were like, "Oh, this guy doesn't know pot at all." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of folks in favor of it apparently, and it is going to pass, if you will. What job have you created? One job, other than sucking the paycheck out of some other body, somebody else that you want to say that you're trying to provide because you're forcing them to pay dues. No, we don't force them. Senator, you've asked the you're question. You're out of line. Let man. Man. Actually, the I question. haven't, and don't tell me I'm out of line. You are out of line. Don't tell me I'm out of line. Well, you, you, you frame, don't tell me. You I'm frame, frame, you frame, you frame the statement. You frame the statement. Shut your guy. mouth. Yeah. Because you don't know you're what you're talking about. You're going to tell me to shut my mouth? Yes, I did. Hold it. Hold it. Tough guy. I'm not afraid of physical. Senator, hold it. But don't sit there and tell me I'm out of line. I bet you I work more hours than you do. Twice that's, as many that's hours. That's impossible. But no, that is that's true. Sir, you don't know what hard work is. Secondly, you want to follow yeah. the schedule? Be, Secondly, be, I'll do it in a follow. minute. That's we the bill, however, is not about increasing the quality of an employer's employee relationship or allowing the free market to lift millions of workers out of poverty. It's about increasing the power of union bosses, like the one that was here one time over the union uh, or over the um, uh, union bosses for the Teamsters. O O'Malley, who quoted one time saying that he wants to bring the mob mentality back to the Teamsters. That's who you're empowering, Chairman. You want to pretend you're making 50,000 now when you're actually making 600,000? No. Okay. And hey, you want to make 600,000 and you've got a really successful business that's worth like $75 million. No problem. I get it. That's a normal salary in that range. But don't pretend you're making fifty thousand dollars a year when you might be worth seventy-five million dollars. Seriously, you're, why don't you just say I'm a fraud, yes, Mr. Allen? Did you or did you not decriminalize public urination in no, Washington D.C.? Did you lead the charge to do so? No, it, the revised criminal code left that as a criminal charge. Did you lead the charge to decriminalize public urination in Washington D.C.? No, ma'am. That in the did you ever vote code, in favor? of decriminalizing public urination in Washington, D.C. Mr. Allen, based on these statistics, I, I, I would like to talk to you um, about some, some other things um, that are going on here in Washington, D.C., specifically an initiative that you led. In November of 2022, you led the charge to reform D.C.'s crime laws. Is that correct? I chaired the committee that that proposal came to. You led us. this charge, yes, sir. Uh. <laughs> So bad. Excuse me, Ms. Allen. I just love how she just ignored what he said. Like just completely yeah, ignored what like, he said. Uh, I like my version better. <laughs> I'm gonna stick with this one. Oh, and I'm gonna need it because the stuff that's coming next is worse for me. Dude, you could tell that she's also panicking. Like it's not going the way she she's wants gotta to. She's gotta be go. enraged at her team. Assuming she's an habit, she couldn't get a single fact right. Who let it? Which, I, fine, the, whether it was law or not seems relevant to the conversation. <laughs> She's the congressional equivalent of someone who forgot that they're supposed to give their book report today.